Hey guys, Blue One here, and welcome to my 15th bucket plugin tutorial. This is going to be a pretty interesting one, and this is one that people have been requesting for quite some time as a slightly more complex tutorial. A lot of people don't cover this subject. We're going to be going over custom YML files, and it's basically like having a whole bunch of uh, configuration files, but it can be named anything you want, so you can have several of them and have them each holding different categories of information. So here's some of the basic setups that you can have. You can have just a standard configuration section, custom section. You can have anything you want. You can go here. This is just a, a list of strings. Uh, because it is your plug in your life, etc. There's a list of strings inside a configuration section, inside another, inside another. So they're nested. After this string, you can have another. This one is also inside it just like is is inside it and these are under and so remember seven because seven, seven is a good number you can have integers you can have doubles you can have anything you want in there so you can do that with any kind of yaml file not just the config although i will state here that there is no way to keep the comments in the files unless it's the configuration file. The built-in config file will keep any comments that you leave in there, but any custom files will not. So that's a bit of a pain, but it's not really that bad because you can put all your information in the config and people will read it. Um, so let's just get right into this. The first thing we're going to have to do is uh, create a private file because you won't be using this anywhere else. We're going to call it L because we're going to be making a file called lang.yml. Lang usually holds things like the prefix, the messages, such like that. So <coughs> file L equals null. And yes, you do want it to equal null. You don't want it to actually be there yet. Just under that, we're going to create a public uh, YAML configuration. And this is a method built into bucket and spigot. We're going to call this lang equals a new YAML configuration. So you do instantiate this one. You'll want to import that as well. Now we're going to go into our on enable. Right after plugin equals this, we're going to use um, we're going to instantiate it now. So we're going to do l equals new file. We only do this on enable. You don't want it to be instantiated until the plugin is enabled. And that is when it actually gets instantiated. So L equals a new file. And you want to put in the location and the name here. Um, so we'll just use uh, get data folder because that's the data folder for the plugin. And then you put in a string here. This is the name of the file, which will be lang.yml. And then we're going to have to create a few methods. Now, one of these is to make the directory itself so that uh, well, let's just start with it here. Private um, void mkdir, which is usually how they make directories, is set up. You can spell it out any way you want. This is, after all, just a method. If l dot exists, so if the file itself exists, but we're going to set this to if it doesn't exist, because there's no point in having an else statement in here. If it does not exist, then uh, see l dot save. Let's see how was this done. Okay, okay. So it's just save resource. Um, here we go. And let's see. You put in what does it require here? A string and a boolean. The boolean you'll have as false. And the string you're going to have as lang.yml. I believe that's how it's set up. Let me check real quick. Yes, yes, that was right. Uh, it does get confusing sometimes because I don't really do it real often. So now let's create another that will be load YAMLs. So we'll do private void load YAMLs. And we'll do YAMLs instead of YAML just in case you end up having more than one at some point. So now we're going to do um, lang load file l now you're going to have to have this surrounded with a try catch and this will be a pretty big block so just delete all these auto generated stubs in here there we go that's all now right after you have initiated the file right here you're going to use mkdir we're going to make directories and then we're going to load yamls 
just like that. Oh, that's not capitalized. There we go. Now, you're done. One last thing you have to do is create the file manually. Lang.yml, just like that. That's it. You've got it. You can put anything in here you want, and it'll be stored just like the uh, config, and we'll prove that here in just a minute. But for now, we're going to create the last two methods, which will be a public void, no, sorry, public YAML configuration. And we're going to use get lang, because this is an object-oriented language. Now we're going to return lang, just like that. Now we're going to use public void save lang and this is set up similar to the load yamls here we're going to use the yaml configuration lang dot save and then the file which is l this will also be surrounded by a try catch though i don't believe quite as large no it's not nearly as large that was a try multi catch up here all right so now you've got it all set up um do remember that the main class is for initiations and files and such. It is not for um, putting in your commands and all of that other stuff. So you don't really want to do, you want to do as little as possible in the main class, but these are all pretty much required to be done here. So in order to reference it, you would do it just like if we, okay, we just create a new class, just call it whatever. Um, normally it's capitalized, but you know okay and to access it we would use main dot plugin well let's create a new method actually we have to public void go just something here okay main dot plugin dot get config you can use that to get the configuration or you can use dot get lang to get the language now it works exactly like the config after this if you watched my last tutorial on the advanced configuration functions. Now you can use get lang dot add default uh, create section uh, get configuration section. It all is the same thing. All right, so that's a very simple setup. It's exactly like the config. Um, the only thing different is you actually have to create it in the main class. So that's about it. I'm going to show you making one more just so you, you can see how it looks when you've made several custom files. Um, private file we're going to call this p equals null this will be players just because we have another one that way and uh, we actually want this to be private not public so you can't access it without using the get lang method so yaml configuration uh, players equals a new YAML configuration. There we go. That's all set and ready to go. So now let's use p equals a new file, get data folder. I uh, didn't mean to do that right there. Okay, and the string, put a semicolon. This will be players.yml. Make directory now needs to include this as well. So if uh, p dot does not exist, then save resource. And if you if you just start typing it, you can press Control Spacebar and it'll fill in for you. Um, resource path, which is the name of it, which will be players dot yml, and then whether to replace or not, just put in false. Because if you do true there, it'll actually take the file that's there, delete it, and replace it entirely. So you don't really want to do that every time your plugin is re-enabled. So right after this try and catch block, we're going to use players.load p. And this will be surrounded by yet another try. You can use a try multi-catch here, and it does take up some less space. Um, we'll do that just just because. Okay, and now we'll make a new method, public YAML configuration um, get players, 
and we're going to return players. All right, pretty simple. One more public void save players and players dot save p again surround it with try catch and that's it create a new file we're going to call it players dot yml all right now let's fill up some stuff here players dot yml should contain something of in interest there we go and that's just all we're gonna put in there we'll put in values into the next one uh, get rid of config okay we won't need this file not found exception anymore we can get rid of that lang we're gonna have you uh, something here with a string of uh, A six there gold colored prefix for the win we'll put it um, also bold just because and something else seven all right so just so that you can see that we it does store the values and everything uh, and that's all so now let's save this let's refresh it because we changed the files up now let's export we're going to export in the same place we did last time, ASG-1, which is where we're at here, but we don't actually need to be here. We're going to reload, just like that. And YAMLs has been enabled. All right, so now let's look at the folder. If I can find it, I'll have to navigate through my desktop. I should have opened this up previously, but I did not. Okay, desktop, go to MC, bungee cord, ASG, plugins, tutorial YAMLs. Okay, so here's our Lang and our players and our config. They're all there. Open up Lang, it shows up right here exactly what you put in it. Open up the config, it does the same thing. Quite simple, quite nice. Here's players. Something can, uh, should contain something of interest. Okay, so that's, that's how you do that. It's a very simple setup. Um, it sure is nice when you're making things like this Guild of Thieves plugin here. Guild of Thieves requires a messages, which should actually be called Lang, and uh, it's empty at the moment there. Player data stores everything that you've ever done there, and it also you can store times. Like right here, I stored it in this format, just like that. I'll show you how to do that in some other tutorial if you like. Um, if you have a request, please let me know in the comments, and I'll look into that and see how fast I can get that done. Now uh, this is a project of heroes here. He's doing quite nice at it, actually. Not looking bad, not looking bad. Anyways, so, yeah, if you have a request, just let me know in the comments. I'll get to that as soon as I can. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later.